welcome Capricorn, Rose Burnett here, Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your March 2022 tarot forecast. It is a general reading, so just trust yourself not resonates, leave it does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel and those that follow me regularly. Uh, make sure to hit that like button, the subscribe button, absolutely helps my channel. Plus, my videos will come through to you in, my, in your feed if you enjoy this reading. All right, let's dive straight in. We're going to pull you a central energy from the... Uh, Nature's Whispers Oracle. Oh, you've got the message to clear out the old. There's a lot going on if I bring that close. So on one side, she's kind of blindfolded with um, a bit of an opening. So it's about letting go of anything that no longer serves you from the past. There's a brand new um, past, if I can say that. There's a brand new path opening up for you. you can certainly speak to a time of renewal. All right, we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus with the Sacred Destiny Oracle and probably lots of clarifiers. <laughs> First up, you've got relaxation. She, he or she is lying in a hammock reading a book, so a need to take time out for self, really unwind. Now you've also pulled transformation, big butterfly, so a lot of personal growth going on. I've got to say I think it's the energy of the month because it's coming out for a lot of signs. Yeah, right on to clear out the old, you've got release. Definitely a need to let go of things. Mm -hmm. And there's new opportunities that want to open up for you, so it'd be exciting to see what those opportunities are. All right, we're going to amp this up with some crystals. Let's pull you some clarifiers from the Energy Oracle. First up, let's have a look at relaxation. You've got two here. You've got three. Uh, you got the angel of love wanting to touch your life. So taking that time, particularly in your time off, to focus on your love relationships if you're in a love relationship or looking for love. Now, this is kind of interesting. I'm going to pull them out hand by hand. You've pulled deceit and hostility. So there's an energy around you that's not great. I've got to say it's been around you for a little while, Capricorn. So watch that energy. It's the energy of others. Oh, you got cornucopia coming in. You've got success coming in on every level. Someone may be a little jealous of what's coming towards you in terms of blessings. Let's have a look at transformation. Yeah, you've got the door to personal healing and happiness opening for you. So if you've had people, it's directly related to hostilities, uh, that have been really uh, not great energy towards you, you're going to overcome that. Um, it's not going to impact you as much or you're not going to allow it to impact you as much. Can also relate to a return to good health around your physical health and well-being. And you've got the thinking man here. So guys, being very balanced, rational, grounded. And you've got the garden and the gate, which I've got to say has come out for just about every sign. Uh, pondering the next steps on your path, possibly a little bit of confusion going on or maybe just holding yourself back a little bit. Watch that energy. Let's have a look at release, which is letting go of things. Yeah, you've got the magician in the mirror. So your spirit's saying you're ready to create whatever you want to create in your life. You've got the power within you to change your life, to make changes, to live the life you want to live. It's directly related to transformation and love. And you've got community here. So a lot of good support systems around you, particularly friendships. Okay, bit of a storm warning going on. It's directly related to deceit, so that's the energies of someone else. Uh, it could also relate to your own emotional well-being. Uh, and Spruce saying there's a contract coming in. So for some of you, you may be going through something in the legal system that's finalising, you've been waiting on for a while. I've got to say, if it's with someone else, their energy is not going to be great. Um, it can mean that there is... A job opportunity coming in, business opportunities, a sale of an asset in some form you've been waiting on. All right, let's have a look at these hostilities going on up here. You got the journey card, so definitely transformation going on. Some of you can relate to travel, and you've just got this beautiful, happy family you can rely on, whatever family means to you. So, spirit's basically saying, don't let this energy affect you. 
Let's have a look at this storm warning. Yeah, Spirit's saying again, you just need to take time out for rest and relaxation. Let's have a look at the garden and the gate, which is a bit of indecision going on. Oh, you've got your uh, third eye chakra here. So trusting your intuition to guide you, trusting yourself implicitly, you know what to do. Let's have a look at this opportunity coming in. So for some of you, it's definitely a contract. <laughs> Darling, she got indecision again over here. Do I go left? Do I go right? Some of you got an offer coming in. You're not sure if you want to take it. Mm -hmm. And you got the world here. So again, some of you definitely traveling. Cycle completions, closing cycles out, brand new fresh start happening. You got two here. It's anxiety going on, sitting right next to indecision. And you've got blossoming abundance. So things are in progress right now. Haven't quite come into your field of view yet, but Spirit's saying they're coming. Whatever this opportunity is. And you've got man holding a coin. So guys, certainly financial security, stability coming in. Let's have a look at this anxiety and indecision. Mm, spirit saying you just need to get in your higher states of consciousness. This is your crown chakra. Uh, whenever we're in a state of anxiety and indecision, we're in our lower chakras, yeah? Uh, whether it's related to our emotions or our sense of security and stability. All right, let's put some guidance from the uh, goddess guidance deck. Having a look at this top room about relaxation. Not letting the energies of others affect you. Your cornucopia coming in, your happy family. Oh, this is beautiful. You know, setting your infinite supply, divine protection over your emotional needs, your material needs. Uh, Spirit's saying stop worrying, it's all coming together for you. And you've got purification, which again, there's a third message about release. This can be the physical body, it can be your emotions, your mindset, releasing things from self. Let's have a look at this transformation going on, this door to personal healing and happiness opening. Being very balanced and trusting yourself. Uh, you've got power, divine passion, being very honest. What is it in your heart that you want, Capricorn? Going after that. And you've got Lakshmi, bright future. Stop worrying, Spirit saying everything's going to be fine. All right, let's have a look at release. Spirit saying you're the magician in your own life. A lot here about taking some time out for self, connecting with your friends, this contract coming in. Oh, there's definitely true love either in your life or coming towards you. Most of you, you're with someone new. And you've got Kunya and Compassion, releasing harsh judgments about others, applying forgiveness to situations. So you're being the bigger person. And uh, we're having a look at this opportunity over here, a bit of anxiety going on. Uh, you've got Una, easy does it. Spirit, the Spirit's saying things are happening in divine timing, so you just have to be patient. And get your bodies of water if you can. It's going to be very soothing on your energy, your soul. Again, you've got divine protection watching over you. Spirit's watching over you big time. Guardian angel. All right, let's put some guidance from the crystal reading deck. Having a look at this top row, which is all about relaxing, not letting the energies of others affect you. Spirit's saying you need to release some stuff. There's a lot here about divine protection over your material needs. Uh, you've got aquamarine communication. So how you communicate with others. Do you listen, take on other people's point of view as well as express yourself? You may have a communication coming in, particularly from this person who's been a bit hostile. You've got tiger's eye courage. So relying on your strength, your courage at this time, and you're absolutely manifesting what you want. Let's have a look at this transformation going on, which is just really about bringing more blessings into your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, brand new beginnings want to happen for you. You've got to clear out the old and a big focus on your life purpose. So some of you getting more clarity about your life path, possibly making some changes. Well, let's have a look at release. Spirit saying there's a true love in your life. Contract coming in. Oh, more confirmation you've got a soulmate in your life. Uh-huh. All right, let's have a look at this opportunity coming in. Bit of indecision going on, worry. Spirit saying you're divinely protected. Oh, you got red jasper, healthy boundaries. The need to put healthy boundaries in place with whoever this is, my loves. To protect your time and your energy and your emotions. 
And just step into your personal power, your empowerment, yeah? All right, let's put some guidance from the messenger oracle. Mm, definitely need for you to ground your energy. Don't let the energies of others affect you. Get out in Mother Nature, do whatever you can, whatever practices you can to balance your energy. There's a need for you to embrace your masculine energy, stand up for yourself, whether you're a guy or a girl, you're getting things done energy. Again, you've got the message to love without conditions, so being very kind and compassionate with others. Whatever's going on with that person is their own energy, but um, it's about you not reacting to them, yeah? And to see the truth in situations where you need to put healthy boundaries in place, where you need to step up and protect yourself. All right, so we some clarifiers with the Muse Tarot. Mm. You've got the Muse of Emotions, which is this beautiful watery energy to get into, flowy energy, inner peace, calm. And you've got the Seven of Inspiration. She's in a macabre of protection. So protecting what you've created, not giving up. And the Muse of Voices, which is acting with integrity, in accordance with your own values, not compromising yourself too much. You have two here. You've got the Seven of Materials. Again, it's just a message that materialistically things are in progress right now. You, whatever you're working on, just keep working on them. And you've got the awakening, which is looking at things in terms of your life, what you need to leave behind, light and dark sides of self, uh, to open up to new beginnings. What do you need to release from self? All right, let's have a look at messages from your angels. There you got wisdom. It says everything has a place and a purpose. To be wise is to have great love, tolerance, and compassion for all things. Oh, my God, Cap, that's your third message, to be compassionate. Oh, whoever this is, they're in quite the funk. Mm -hmm. And you've also got gratitude. Make gratitude your new attitude. The stars will shine brighter upon you. All in your world will become lighter. So not focusing on lack, focusing on the blessings in your life. And divine mystery, you along with the stars, the moon, the sun and the earth are all part of one creation, a divine mystery unfolding. Be present, feel the power of now, be in the moment and witness the wonder of all that is. So don't future pace yourself too much, worry about things that may or may not happen. Don't look backwards. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance. All right, that's so wants to come out and grab all of that. Oh, you got that message to um, go on a high antioxidant diet. So what does that mean? Lots of uh, fresh vegetables, a little bit of fruit, high vitamin content, uh, lots of water, protein rich. Yeah, it's going to help you with your um, energy. You also get your crown chakra here. So certainly need if you get into your high states of consciousness out of worry, anxiety. Do your spiritual practices and you've got community. So connecting with community. Your friendships, going out and doing things. Let's have a look at your spiritual guidance, who you connect to in the spirit realm. Divine gifts and talents. Oh, you're connected to the ancient soul tribes. So it means you've had many past lives. You can tap into that. You may not have fully tapped into it, but you can. Magic and ritual is really important at this time, sitting directly under the crown chakra. Do your spiritual practices to raise your vibration. And your spiritual guidance, whatever's coming through for you, is very accurate at this time. Trust the messages coming through. Let's have a look at your life path. Oh, you got synchronicity going on. All right, people, resources coming towards you to help you with your path. And to be a bold risk taker and go after those opportunities, go after the things you want. And your voice is your message and your gift. Don't forget you've also got your throat chakra here. So some of you, there's a message if you want to share it with the world. Spirit's saying not to be shy. <laughs> some of you may already be doing that. All right, let's put your crowning energy from the beautiful Pegasus Orica. What is it Capricorn needs to know at this time? Mm, this is beautiful. You've got the Pegasus of Vega. There's a beautiful star above him. 
Mm -hmm. Let's pull you up the guidance. So there's Capricorn. It says, your beloved spirit guide Pegasus descends on the vibrational blessings of the star Vega. You're guided to focus not on what is being said so much as what is being done. You're encouraged to listen for the truth behind appearances and beneath words. Trust your intuitive sense of what is real, reliable and healthy for you. You're being granted healing from Vega, which helps align you to your inner soul note or frequency. Your psychic sensitivity is heightened at this time and you're learning how different frequencies enhance or distort your own. No judgment is required. Every note has a place in the music of the spheres, but some adjustments may be needed so your soul song can ring true. And if something no longer feels good for you, you're invited to change it. The more self-aware you are, the more you can enhance your vibration through your choices. If this will strengthen your soul note and allow you to bring yourself back into harmony more readily when the world intrudes with discordant notes. Embrace the changes in attitude and behavior that are naturally happening for you. These are the consequences of a soul frequency recalibration. You will enjoy becoming more of who you are and your tolerance for energies that distract you from your true note will decrease. This in turn will help you cleanse unhelpful influences from your life. Trust in the changes taking place. Know that they are good for you very much reflects your entire reading. So releasing things that don't serve you, people, situations that don't serve you. Uh, there's a lot here about you raising your own soul note or vibration, particularly through your spiritual practices, yeah? All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button. Absolutely helps my channel, plus my videos will come through to you. And take it easy for now. Much love, much light. Namaste.